Hi, in today's video, we'll be looking at a new project called Noodle. This is an up and coming IoT project, not too dissimilar from other projects such as Helium and what MXC claims to be. So it's similar to that, however, it works completely differently. And today I'll be looking at how it works, what this project is all about, and what potential it could possibly have for the future. So stay tuned, I'll be right back and we'll get straight into it. Hey everyone, Crypto Lehman here. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new around here, I will wholeheartedly welcome you to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be discussing an up and coming project which appears to be quite promising called Noodle.io. Noodle is aiming to build an IoT network to facilitate multiple functions on its blockchain technology. Noodle is a connectivity provider for the Internet of Things. The company has built a robust Bluetooth low energy powered network to help companies and cities connect and collect data from devices, sensors and tags. So essentially what Noodle are trying to do is they are trying to build a network of IoT things. The key thing that Noodle is doing differently is that rather than utilizing the radio frequency and having a static device such as a helium hotspot to transmit the data, they have come up with a new patented technology which allows them to build an app that utilizes Bluetooth connectivity from existing mobile phones in order to receive data from IoT devices. So essentially you download the Noodle Cache app onto your mobile phone device that you already have, switch the Bluetooth on and you just go about your daily business. Whenever this device is in the vicinity of an IoT sensor, your mobile phone recognizes this IoT device. The device sends some data packets. Your mobile phone device receives those data packets using your Bluetooth and then transmits them on to the blockchain. Now, the blockchain is inhabited by validators who verify this data. However, it keeps your data and your device identity completely anonymous by using something called the rendezvous protocol in a nutshell it changes your device id randomly and regularly to anonymize your data so whenever these data packets are being transmitted first of all the data is sanitized so your information isn't leaked and secondly using the rendezvous protocol from my understanding your data cannot be traced back to your particular device even if it is compromised because the rendezvous protocol regularly switches your device id that data is then sorted in two different types of packets so you have the background packets essentially data that you collect from devices that are not owned by a subscriber that is willing to pay the noodle network for that data they're called background packets and then you have packets that are subscribed for by the owner of those devices who wishes to track those devices and they are willing to pay the noodle network for their services and these people are referred to as subscribers so subscribed for packets have a special bounty attached to them which essentially means that the mining reward that the edge node contributor is paid in return for that data is slightly higher so that is in a nutshell how Noodle works. So it's simply an app which requests Bluetooth access from your mobile phone. There are two separate modes on each app. So you can either run it in the eco mode, which has a very low battery and resource consumption of your phone, or you can run it on an intensive mode, which extends the range and the power of the Bluetooth transmissions. However, it also comes at a cost of consuming more electricity, more battery life, and more resources from your mobile phone so i would recommend that if you download this app keep it running in an eco mode that is definitely recommended unless you are using a telephone that is purely designated to this particular cause now if you are a person who walks around quite a lot and goes to crowded busy places such as supermarkets shopping malls airports train stations bus stations etc this app will always be running in the background 
and it could potentially earn you a buck or two. Just to briefly demonstrate that to you, so you have the IoT devices, then you have the edge nodes, edge nodes being your mobile phones which are capable of running the Noodle Cash app, and then you have the internet and you have the validators. Data is transmitted by the IoT devices, it is received by the mobile phone and the app, it is then transferred over the internet to the validators who validate and and sort the data who then pass the data on to subscribers so it could be a company that owns one of these devices and they receive the data such as geolocation battery status etc so whatever data they require in order to cost effectively manage these devices the key thing here is that the technology that they're trying to use is patent pending so the patent has not yet been granted the patent has been submitted so let's look at the token economics and there are 2.1 billion noodle cash tokens that can ever be produced and let me just quickly show you how they ha have been divided up 2.1 billion is the maximum supply of which 4.5 percent uh, tokens have been allocated to early investors 10% of the tokens have been given to the team 12% have been left in the company's reserve one 0.5% have been given to service providers and 12% have been assigned to offerings. I'm not entirely sure what the offering is, but 60% of all the token share is given to mobile phone apps or edge nodes as they call them devices that will run and mine data from all these IoT devices on a daily basis. And potential use cases are a lot of things such as metering data, two-way communications, industrial asset tracking, you have population density, foot traffic, vehicle density and traffic, device audit, proof of location, ride sharing apps. So because it's using this Bluetooth technology that is already built into every single device that there is, it has a huge potential in terms of use cases. So that's it in terms of the project. Now let me just quickly show you their latest announcement and this was made on the 22nd of july so they are now partnering with estv which is an esports streaming service and noodle have announced a strategic partnership with them where people streaming on the network will be able to earn some noodle cash whilst streaming their normal services so things are definitely happening and moving slowly on this front now, before I conclude this video, there is one more very important thing, and that is the Noodle Cash is not currently listed on any exchange, etc. So, at this moment in time, technically it's worthless, so there is no value to it as such, because it cannot be traded or exchanged. However, that is done by design, because the team wants to focus on adoption, and expanding the network and providing the essential utility to the network uh, in order to grow it and make it useful before they list this token on several exchanges and enable trading this will happen hopefully soon now in terms of a roadmap i will quickly show you what the roadmap looks like there has been several stages so the block explorer is currently live the blockchain is live the noodle m1 i'm not sure what the m1 is it may well be a sensor of some sort or an app it is in production this roadmap is not currently up to date but it would seem that the app is already online and it's it can be downloaded and used so they are making slow and steady progress and hopefully towards the end of this year or hopefully the beginning of next year we will start seeing an increase in adoption of the nodal network and also hopefully see some sort of listing onto several exchanges or other platforms in my personal opinion this project would appear to have a lot of potential this is my personal opinion i'm not telling you that this there is obviously always an inherent risk involved with any and every crypto project however i quite like it because getting involved does not cost you anything at all i hope this video review was helpful thank you very much once again for tuning in look after yourselves and i will speak to you soon